gumbo. This particular gumbo, I'm gonna make a seafood gumbo, is really about the roux. When you're making a roux, it's all about equal parts of oil or butter and flour. We're gonna let that oil get a little warm. What we're gonna do now is add our flour, equal parts of oil and flour. And at this point now, it's about incorporating so that it's kind of like a smooth paste. You see how this is here now? And now it's about really the color. You can see that this is at a blonde stage right now. Now, <laughs> I used to have a theory about how long does it take to make a roux? And I would always joke with people and say it would take about two beers. So by the time you could drink two beers, you probably have the right color of the roux. Now, some people that make seafood gumbo don't use vegetable oil. They'll use butter instead because of the delicate flavors of the seafood. But butter also breaks down after a while with temperature, which is why I'm using vegetable oil. So now it's all about stirring the roux. Don't go far. You don't want it to burn. So that means you don't want the heat to be too high because now we're looking for consistency of the roux and we're looking for color. While that's happening, let's talk about some components that are important to make the really good seafood gumbo. I like to use gumbo crabs. These are blue crabs and you can see they're quite fatty, beautiful. Blue crab, or what is called here in Louisiana, gumbo crabs. You gotta have the trinity. Onion, bell pepper, celery. If we had carrot instead of bell pepper, universally that would be called a maripois. But only in Louisiana do you have the trinity. Well, see how I'm going back, stirring that gumbo? And you can see how I've got a little bubble going on here. You see that? Not too high, not too low but you gotta stir it. So, while that's going on, let's talk about the aromatics. Bay leaf, thyme, garlic, salt and cayenne, and Worcestershire sauce. The liquids is gonna be beer, and this is shrimp stock. So when you buy shrimp, save the shells. Cover it with water, simmer. It's very easy to make. We're looking for that color. So we're gonna go actually from a blonde stage that's gonna go up to like a peanut butter stage. Then it's gonna go up to a light brown stage. And when we get the perfect color roux, then we can begin to start layering the flavors to begin what's called the gumbo base. We may use some fish, we'll use some shrimp, some crab meat beside the gumbo crabs. We may use oysters. All of those seafood components are very delicate. So you really don't wanna add them and to the end, you don't want to overcook your seafood. So you want to really cook the base. The base needs to cook probably at least two hours. Slow and low, getting and eliminating that flour out of that roux, that taste of that flour, and really getting that deep flavor of the gumbo base. And you don't want to burn the roux, folks. It's like a good risotto. You got to keep stirring it. And this is looking really good. I've adjusted my heat to even be a little lower now. I'm gonna get the flavor that I want from this roux. Oh, look at the color now. You see that, how it's starting to turn quick? Perfect. Patience, my friends, patience. And when I'm at the stage of this roux right now, fire low, keep stirring, and you're gonna have the perfect roux which is gonna make the perfect gumbo. I'm kind of really liking this color right here. So now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add the trinity. So the onion, the bell pepper, the celery, that would be the trinity. The salt and the cayenne, that would be the seasoning. Check it out. Now I wanna cook the trinity inside of the this roux base here, look at that. Oh, you know, it's kind of like building a house. You have a solid foundation, that would be the roux. And then you begin to start layering flavors, like building a house. So we added the trinity, 
salt and cayenne. Look at that. Beautiful. Now that roux is incorporating and cooking into the trinity. Now I want to add the garlic. I want to add the bay leaf and the thyme. See that cooking just nice. Oh yeah. Look at that. Looking good. Now we're going to take our gumbo crabs. If you want them in smaller pieces, that's fine. We're going to add the gumbo crabs now into the trinity. We're going to take our beer. Now our shrimp stock. Now it'll never be at its full thickening power when you're working with a roux until it comes to a boil. You've got that really nice color, not too dark. I'm gonna lower that heat and we're gonna cover. Let it come up to a boil and simmer, cooking all those flavors together. So we have our seafood gumbo in the burner. Let's talk about another staple of Louisiana that's used in so many dishes, so many of its cooking, whether it's Creole or Cajun, called andouille sausage. It's a spiced, lightly smoked pork sausage, and it's a staple used in so many dishes in Louisiana, particularly with gumbo. So I want to come back to our gumbo, and now I'm going to add that andouille sausage Stir it. Oh, look at this. Simmering away, folks. Look at that. I'm gonna cover it, and we're gonna let that andouille cook in that gumbo. Simmering away right now with our andouille. Look at that. Oh, yeah, doesn't that look gorgeous? Here comes the finale. Let's talk about our seafood for our gumbo. Shrimp. Catfish from Desalmonds, little neighborhood here. Some oysters. Let's season that up. Oh, baby. And then watch what we're gonna do now. We coming here, coming to our gumbo. And now look at this. Now we're gonna add the seafood. We're gonna add the seafood. Check it out. Not gonna take long. See how that's simmering so nice? I'm let that cook just a little bit. Last but not least, here goes the oysters. And it's liqueur. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. That's the finale of that. I'm gonna bring out our food stylist, Andy. Hello, uh, chef. Un unbelievable Creole consultant. She is awesome. So I'm gonna serve up a little seafood gumbo. Now, you have a choice. What are my choices? Potato salad. Okay. Unusual for New Orleans, but not unusual. Because you always serve gumbo with rice. However, there are some places that will also serve it with potato salad. I think I want to try that. Your choice. I've actually not tried that before. Your choice. Go ahead. Yes. And I'm going to dish up a little bit here. Which would you prefer? I am going with you. Okay. I'm going to go with potato salad, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. So, cheers. Here's cheers. To you. Here's to you. It's been a pleasure working together. Mm. I know it sounds a little weird, potato salad. Really? Are you kidding me? Mm. Oh, I love it. And the gumbo is spot on. Seasoning's perfect. Spot on. Yeah, the creamy potato salad with that mm. actually that works work? so perfectly, yeah. yeah. Cheers to gumbo weather. Yeah. Guys, here's to you. Here's to you, my friend. You too. Cheers.